So we ended up in North Bend Park and Campground. It's just outside of Boynton, Virginia. It is an Army Corps of Engineers campground. So it's right on a big reservoir and it is beautiful. You know, we've been kind of on the coast for what feels like a while now. We've been seeing a lot of beaches and no complaints. I love a beach, but it kind of feels good to to be in a, in a different, you know, a change of scenery. Yep. It's nice to come inland and uh, the trees are just as green as can be right now and it's just beautiful. The pollen's a little heavy, but other than that, it's not too bad. <laughs> All right, so the plan for today is just to explore this campground in this area and kind of see what kind of fun we can find around here. All right, first stop for us is the visitor center. They're always a great resource when trying to learn about the area and things to do in the area. So headed in now. Well, this is Dan behind us, <laughs> and she is on display here at the John H. Carr uh, Dam. Yeah, we learned a little bit about her. They have a placard here. She was constructed in 1937 and was used in World War II as a barge and to refuel other vessels. After the war, she was moved to this lake, and she was actually named after the Dan River. So, yeah. She's got a lot of history. She was um, used on this lake to as a barge and to help bring ships and um, uh, driftwood up from the bottom right. of, of the a, lake. The crane on the front there that would lift things up from the bottom. Yep, and also she was involved in like fireworks displays and boat races and yeah. various recreational activities on the yeah. lake over the past. But had a long-standing career. Uh, it's 55 years this boat was in commission. So. Right, and she was respectfully retired and put on display here for us all to to learn about and enjoy. So, yeah. pretty cool little piece of history and memorabilia. Local here. Local history, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. So we are headed down a short trail to try to get a better view of the John H. Carr Dam. It is pronounced Carr, but it looks like it would be pronounced Kerr. It's K-E-R-R, -R, but pronounced Carr. It was a congressman in North Carolina that got the funding for this project. Well, the dam itself was designed and built and operated by the Army Corps of Engineers. Um, they are involved in multiple construction and design projects for the U.S., but their most visible mission is the operation of dams and locks and, and also the design process building and operations of them. Right, absolutely. So there are actually six dams right around this area that dam the Roanoke and Dan rivers and create the John H. Carr Reservoir. So yeah, kind of some interesting things and benefits to us campers is that they tend to have some amazing campgrounds right. around the reservoirs. This reservoir here is 52,000 acres and the property around it is, the majority of it is owned by the uh, Army, Corps of Engineers. Army Corps of Engineers, which they've went and designed and built campgrounds all over this reservoir and it's and recreation areas and things like that yeah so. the main purpose of the dams are to um for hydroelectric power flood control and recreation yep and so we get the benefit of the recreation end right. of that exactly <laughs>
All right, so just down the road is one of the original water wheels or turbines used in the dam. And if you're not familiar how a dam works, I the, wasn't. <laughs> the water from the reservoir side flows into the dam and spins one of these big turbines, which is connected to a generator that produces power. And then the water flows back out the dam and into the river on the opposite side of the uh, dam. Yeah, producing electricity. Yep. And this, this is one of the original uh, turbines from this power plant. And it is the single largest cast water wheel in our country. Yeah, it produces 45,000 horsepower. Yep. A lot of power coming through that thing. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's a beast. It's a beast. <laughs> All right, so we explored the dam and surrounding area, and now TJ and I have gotten the bikes out, and we're gonna go explore this beautiful campground. <laughs> I think we hit this spot at the absolute perfect time of year, but the filtered light coming through those bright green leaves of the trees and this kind of constant breeze coming off the lake is just... It's perfect. It's heaven. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I'm ever going to leave here. Um, but yeah, we're just going to get out and try and enjoy this campground as much as we can while we're here. So check out this sweet campsite. <laughs> it's what's so neat about this campground is that the reservoir has all of these little like almost fingers. It's like we're used to lakes just being like an oval or a <laughs> circle, but these kind of like have little shoots that come out and they've built the campground around those. And so- So on the, on the ends of all those fingers, they've put campsites, which make it, I mean, right on the water, oh which is gosh, amazing. It is. The only downside of these sites is that there are no water and electric here, but right. I mean, you've got Plenty of sun here for solar, so... <laughs> On this side, anyway. Yeah, this is... What a beautiful campground. The Army Corps of Engineers just really know how to do it with the campgrounds. <laughs> <laughs> and they're usually fairly inexpensive. Yeah. So. Yeah, you usually have a, an option for hookups. Yep. Um, and they're really reasonably priced and just absolutely gorgeous. Well, we made it back to the campground after exploring this campground and reservoir. And TJ is going to take this opportunity to... What are you going to do? It's time to change the oil. <laughs> so, what all have you got there? I bought this painter's cloth at, I think, Walmart or Lowe's. And it's got a wax backing on it so nothing can go through it. So. Even if we spill a little bit of oil, it won't get through here and we can just wipe it up. Um, I also have this piece of tubing because on our van, I've replaced our drain plug with, with what's called a Fumoto valve. I'll put a link down below in the description for it. And it's just basically, it, it screws in where your original drain plug was and it allows it's like a switch you can open it like a valve like a like you turn it on a faucet and lets the water it lets the oil drain Here's a big funnel 15 quarts of oil, oh, <laughs> <that> oil. <laughs> and i have a lowe's five gallon bucket with a uh, top that has a rubber seal on it that we catch the oil in and then when I'm done with the oil, I can, I'll take it to an auto parts store and they'll recycle it. 
Um, so that's what we're getting ready to do. So something handy about having a, a lifted 4x4 van is that a normal 5 gallon bucket will just slide right underneath it without any problem. So this is the Fumoto valve I was talking about. Uh, you just put this hose on the end. I have one of these clamps, just finger tight. Keep it from coming off. Put our 5 gallon bucket underneath. And then you just flip this lever. So, and then you wait. So I've used these Fumoto valves on my last probably seven or eight vehicles. And anything from our 4x4 Jeep, stuff we took off road, uh, to an airboat, a friend's airboat, we used them on that. And they've been perfect. And for anybody, you know, if you're worried about them coming open, they have little indents where they lock in place so they can't open. And if you don't like the uh, nipple for the hose hanging down, you can get them with where they're flat and they don't have that. All right, all done. Tomorrow we'll drop this foil off and uh, we'll be good for another 3,000 miles. All right, well, we got our chores done for the day. Yep, we got the oil changed in the van. I had a noise that was driving me crazy and <laughs> finally figured out. Yes, thank goodness oh. that it wasn't anything more serious. It was just yes. really tightening some bolts. It was bolts. just a couple loose bolts that uh, were causing a knock that was transferring through the frame and just making a really loud no noise. Yeah. He was at one point thinking that that noise was the steering box that was going to need yep. to be replaced, which was going to be several hundred dollars. So, so happy. Yep. Free fix. <laughs> that it's uh, just tightening some loose bolts. A little grease and some and a couple turns on the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> a couple turns on a bolt. <laughs> so now we are headed down to the lake uh, to enjoy sunset. Yep. Yeah. Sit by the water and watch the sun go down. Yeah, it's it's amazing. This campground has every loop has like a private beach access to the lake. And I think they've brought like sand in and they have a little swimming area and stuff. So right. it's really cool. Yeah, it's a beautiful lake. Really. <laughs> Just packing up camp, getting ready to leave North Bend Campground here in Southern Virginia. Uh, it's been an amazing stop for us. Um, I think just the time of year that we hit it and being here during the week when it was empty, it's just... It's, it's just a beautiful spot. This campground really is, I would say, in our top 10 campgrounds anyway. Yeah, it's been, it's been gorgeous. I mean, this is the kind of place like... If I had to pick a campground to live in, <laughs> this would definitely make the list. It's just, it has everything. It's checked off all the boxes other than proximity maybe of things, things to do. do. Yep. If you're just looking for a place to come and relax and hang out and lay around in the hammock, <laughs> it doesn't get much better than this. Yeah, it's been beautiful. It's been fun. We've had a great time exploring yep. this area, but we are headed out today. Um, 
we're kind of yo-yoing across Virginia a little bit. A little bit. Um, but we're headed up to some pretty exciting stuff, I think. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. And if you want to keep following along, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, Bye. guys.